uh, your thoughts on uh, the, the native strengths of the India's uh, pharma sector before we go on talking about the other aspects of it, your perspective on that. Yeah, sure. So, uh, you know, I think if we look back uh, over uh, the journey of this industry over the last four to five decades, it started at a very, very nascent uh, stage of serving the domestic uh, consumers. And from there, it has gone through multiple phases of evolution and, you know, like what we, like now we want to call it as like a pharmacy of the world. But uh, this entire journey has uh, multiple dimensions to it. So, capitalizing and leveraging on the strong home market, uh, the capabilities that we developed, we then uh, capitalized on that and then uh, we started looking outward. And uh, over a period of time, we have built a robust industry close to 50 billion dollars, half of which is domestic market, half of uh, which is exports. Uh, in the export uh, dynamics, uh, we straddle across the spectrum. So we uh, export to most regulated market like United States and we probably serve to the poorest country in the continent uh, in the world uh, by providing affordable medicine. So this has all uh, been culmination of the R&D and the manufacturing strength that has been developed over a period of time. We have moved up the value chain gradually in the pharma space. Starting from API, we have uh, moved the value chain up in terms of uh, formulations and uh, now the newer technologies like complex genetics and injectables. Mm. Uh, what has also happened over a period of time is that in terms of our quality standards also we have upgraded significantly. So probably you know uh, India would be a place where we have the largest number of US FD approved sites outside US. India is a country which has got uh, probably the largest number of new product approvals and approvals mm -hmm. rather uh, which are awarded uh, to uh, an industry in a particular country. So this is the dimension on the quality aspects where we have scaled up significantly. And uh, the third dimension to it is that everything that government is doing in making the India pharma and the healthcare space more robust, that also has a rub-on effect on the pharma industry. Pharma industry is also a key component of the healthcare infrastructure in the country. So everything that is hap happening on the excess front with Ayushman Bharat and uh, Jan Aushadi Kendras. So these are all initiatives towards making the healthcare available to the end patient. And that is that continues to create a robust uh, market. Mm. And that also has an effect on the pharma industry. So that has been the journey. Obviously, you know, uh, as things evolve, the landscape is changing globally. Landscape is changing in terms of the supply chain dynamics. There are headwinds in terms of the geopolitical dimensions around supply chain, vulnerabilities arising out of it. I think uh, the government is uh, engaging with the industry and then there are meaningful and right steps also be, which are being taken in right. this direction. And uh, I think many of these are reflected in the uh, current budget uh, announcements but, as but well. We'll, we'll talk about those headwinds also in the conversation. Sure. Uh, ahead, Mr. Chakravarti, if I can come to you.